Welcome back to yet another teardown. More specifically, a hard disk teardown. And we hadn't one of those in quite a while. Now, usually I'm only tearing down hard disks out of old servers. And that hard disk is obviously out of a server. However, it's not really a server hard disk. Uh, I hope you can enjoy it anyway. What we have here is a Seagate Barracuda 7200.10. So 7200 RPM and 160 gigabytes. <laughs> you can't buy that anymore. Uh, so serial number, part number, if anyone is interested, firmware. And here, of course, the date code 09. 133 three. and the first two digits are the fiscal year of Seagate. 13 is the week within that fiscal year and the three is the day within the fiscal year. And if you do the calculations, it turns out that this thing has a date code of the 25th of September 2008. So it's barely 15 years old. And it's a SATA, not the <laughs> usual SAS I have here on the bench. There's not much on the back side, really a small controller board. You know, the really old disk they had, uh, the controller boards that span over all the area here on the back. But yeah, this is already quite highly integrated. And here we have the SATA and the power connection. And now we shall tear it apart. So let's start with the PCB and I'm using here a Torx number nine, just if, uh, so you don't have to ask in the comments. Hmm. And here's the controller board. Oh, LSI chip. Ah, uh, we will have a closer look in the end on what's on here. Uh, the connections uh, to the internal, to the head assembly and uh, to the linear motor assembly, moving the head and a three connection brushless DC for the spindle here. Great. Still using a Torx number nine here. But these screws are different. They have a larger diameter, even if they are also Torx number nine. And that's not coming apart now. I suspect there should be some more screws under the label. Yeah, at least one more that's <clears throat> holding in the head assembly. I'm pretty sure. Maybe that was the only one. Yeah, and we're in. Not much to say really. Uh, is that a single platter or two platters? We will see, it's a single platter. Yeah, I mean, 160 gigabytes. A little pad here for fetching any dirt that might be uh, flying around, but uh, it's clean. Um, yeah, is that still talk number nine? That's still talk number nine. <laughs> they really went to town in reducing the number of tools you use, uh, you need to take these things apart. So yeah, that was the outside connection here to the PCB. Where is it? There must be somewhere a contact pad. There's a contact pad. Okay, nice, shiny and golden. And talk number nine for the magnet assembly. Yeah, of course. Whoop. That was easy. I have no idea what that thing is for. If that... That does absolutely nothing. 
there's probably a reason why it's in there. So, and now this is no longer talk number nine. Uh, let me use another tool. Okay, these seem to be talk number six. Yeah, easy enough. And I need a bigger screwdriver for that one. And I mean really a bigger screwdriver. So counterclockwise or clockwise? Okay, counterclockwise. And here comes the head assembly and that was the second magnet. Okay, we can zoom down again. The head assembly consists really of just two heads for that single platter. So we're talking here about <clears throat> 90 <laughs> gigabytes per side of the platter. Uh, not too much, eh? And we're back to talks number nine. Yeah, it's just mirrors and hands, I know. And here we have the platter. Interestingly, we have here a plasticky thing. I have no idea what that is. There's a piece of Velcro in here. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. Is that Velcro? No, not really. And it's shielding some structure here. I have no idea. I've never seen that before in a disc. Maybe that's something that can, oh, sorry, out of <laughs> frame. Maybe that's something that's absorbing stuff, moisture. I have no idea. Uh, write something in the comments, please. But I mean, that plastic stuff above it, uh, that seems to be airtight. So I have no idea. Uh, yeah, the <clears throat> BLDC. That's pressed in. I won't go through the trouble of pressing that out this time. And I have to zoom out again. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Uh, the BLDC, uh, that's usually pressed in. I won't go through the trouble and <clears throat> pressing that out. And that's it. These were the innards. Really not much to write home about but it's just a consumer disc in the end so what do you expect here all the parts that's your hard disk let's close it up and sell it on ebay now let's have a closer look at the pcb uh, there are some conductors here and here that's probably for power supply there are also some big diodes here so yeah that makes sense then we have the big chip in the middle here that's an LSI B4396A0 and that's the main <coughs> hard disk controller with SATA interface and uh, yeah, the electronics to control the head and read the head signal spec and all that jazz. We have that little thingy here, which also looks quite complex, but that's really just an ST smooth. That's actually <laughs> The uh, BLDC motor driver, yeah, the connections for the BLDC motor driver are down here and that thing is just nothing else but, yeah, turning the spindle. Yeah, big chip for 
well, <clears throat> um, an important task, but I wouldn't have expected uh, some package with that many pins for that. That big thing here in the corner is probably some RAM for buffering data, I guess. And yes, it's a e-tron tag EM638165TS-6G. That's a 4 mega times 16 bit synchronous DRAM. Wow, do they still exist, e-tron tag? And then we have that little bugger here, maybe a MOSFET package. Yep, that's an on semi 4184P a P-channel MOSFET plus a Schottky diode, all in one package. That's really good, I think, for driving uh, the magnet or something that moves the head. But that's just a guess. And that's all she wrote. There's absolutely nothing here on the backside. So, yeah, we're through with the PCB. That's it for today, the teardown of a Seagate Barracuda from 2008. Well, uh, let's say a high-end consumer disc. Nothing you usually would find in a server, even if it obviously was used in a server. But for 2008, uh, really highly integrated. Uh, just three chips here and um, yeah, if you don't count the MOSFET with the Schottky diode package here. So yeah, uh, single platter, really nice and <coughs> 160 gigabyte. Yeah, you can laugh about that today. But back in the day, I think it was a great disc. Till next time, bye.